，结束贺新机型反抵国门，川普自认参与了一场化敌为友的历史性会谈。飞行途中曾发表推特感言：“美俄建设性对话有利两国，利好世界。”但回到白宫后，外头抗议者高喊的“叛徒，欢迎回家”与川普的自我评价形成对比。当晚，华府示威新闻重复放送之际，美国知名词典网站趁机发推调侃：“热爱支持捍卫国家利益者，为之爱国；犯下叛国罪、背叛国家者，则为叛徒。”这一晚，美国舆论止不住对总统的批判。Then today was a very good day, because today the president of the United States took your side in a fight between you and the United States. So just to recap, Trump blamed the U.S. for Russian aggression, attacked the FBI in the special counsel's investigation, took Putin's side on election meddling, attacked Democrats and Hillary Clinton with Putin standing next to him, and said Putin was strong and powerful. Can you imagine what their private meeting was like? I'm worried he let Putin annex one of the 50 states. You're the president of the United States. You shouldn't do that. I mean, what's the matter with you? I mean, whatever happened to the strong words or to the strength of Ronald Reagan when he stood there at the Berlin Wall and he said, "Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall." Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. 美国前总统雷根一九八七年访问西柏林，发表《柏林围墙：建成三十年》演说，代替苏联人民向领导人戈巴契夫发出寻求自由、民主呼吁，在当时被列为重要名人语录。有时说，全美如今对川普叛国的指责亦可载入史册，因为他上任至今，叛国充其量是社群网络或者社会角落中反。对者对川普不屑的发言词，如今却以如此幸福的方式引发巨国讨论，开启美国历任总统先例。CIA Director John Brennan just tweeted, and I quote: Donald Trump's press conference performance in Helsinki rises to and exceeds the threshold of high crimes and misdemeanors. It was nothing short of treasonous. Not only were Trump's comments imbecilic, he is wholly in the pocket of Putin, Republican patriots. Where are you? 前美国中情局长布瑞南便在双普背后言辞谴责，说自己当时不可置信地看着电视，站在普丁身旁的川普回答俄罗斯干预美国大选问题时，竟采纳这位前 KGB 特务的说法。毕竟美国情报单位长久以来奉国家之命，监控的敌人除了恐怖分子和流氓政权之外，就是俄罗斯人了。曾是中情局。特工的共和党现任议员也直言，总统已成俄罗斯人的傀儡。I've seen、um, uh, the Russian intelligence and、uh, you know manipulate many people in, in my career, and, and I never would have thought、uh, the U.S. president would be would be one of them. 川普在双普会上的失态成了共和党的选举包袱。据美国其中选举仅剩三个多月。波安特解莫勒对克里姆林宫再次提出操弄总统大选指控三天后，美国元首竟在国际场合公开拥抱敌对国外势力。国会山庄内，少数民主党议员提议弹劾总统，全美二十个左派团体推出最后周末运动。呼吁选民十一月选出新国会，改变国家方向。共和党高层谨慎回应，不把焦点摆在川普，而是试图与俄罗斯保持距离。We'll、make no mistake about it. I would say to our friends in Europe,、uh, we understand the Russian threat, and I think that is the widespread view here in the United States Senate among members of both parties. Vladimir Putin does not share our interests. Vladimir Putin does not share our values. We just conducted a year-long investigation into Russia's interference in our elections. They did interfere in our elections. It's really clear. There should be no doubt about that. It's also clear that it didn't have a material effect on our elections. But as a result of that, we passed tough sanctions on Russia so that we can hold them accountable. 
尽管共和党高层试图淡化，但双普会民调评比依旧不佳。美国哥伦比亚广播公司最新数字，全美三成恶民众认可川普在恶心机的表现，五成五不表赞同。全美舆论指责依旧不减下。川普十八号在白宫会议上宣读声明，表示当天拒绝承认俄罗斯干预大选是口误，并反复强调对情报单位的信任。尽管现场灯光一度令这位上电视认错的总统眼前一黑。Let me begin by saying that once again, the full faith and support for America's Intelligence agencies. I have a full faith in our intelligence agencies. Whoops! They just turned off the light. That must be the intelligence agencies. There it goes. Okay. In a key sentence in my remarks, I said the word "would" instead of "wouldn't." The sentence should have been, "I don't see any reason why I wouldn't, or why it wouldn't be Russia." 美国总统与情报单位好似不在彼此对立，却也只维持了二十四个小时。White House has announced on Twitter that Vladimir Putin is coming to the White House in the fall. Say that again. <laughs> you, Vladimir Putin coming to the White House. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be special. 十九号在科罗拉多州一场国安论坛，获川普一手提拔的美国国家情报总监科茨对白宫正式发出普丁邀请函感到惊讶。作为美国情报单位最高负责人之一，科茨曾在听证会上告诉国会，俄罗斯至今仍会放弃破坏美国民主的阴谋。论坛上，他也大谈普丁掌控俄罗斯国家机器的秘密。Think anybody who thinks that Vladimir Putin doesn't have his stamp on everything that happens in Russia is 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 misinformed.、Um, it is very clear that virtually nothing happens there of any kind of consequence that Vladimir Putin doesn't know about or hasn't ordered. I think we're pretty sure about that. In Moscow today, Putin said that he was in the same meeting as the Russian president in the annual meeting of the NATO. He said that he was in the same meeting as the Russian president in the annual meeting of the NATO. He said that he was in the same meeting as the Russian president in the annual meeting of the NATO. 美国国务卿蓬佩奥在双普会后首度打破沉默，称美俄交换人员审讯一事全是传闻。据传，普丁曾私下要求让美国前驻俄大使麦克福尔及投资俄罗斯多年的美国银行家布劳德接受莫斯科审讯，以换取美国司法部可引渡穆勒近期起诉干预大选的俄国军官。赴美受审，效力奥巴马政府的麦克福尔是当时美国情报单位内普丁的高分贝批评者。布劳德则是不断在华府游说，推动美国就俄罗斯侵害人权提出制裁。I, I've told people for a long time that I believe that I'm Putin's number one foreign enemy, and, and sometimes people have scoffed at that. 川普。普丁究竟是敌是友？美国《时代》杂志用视觉艺术合成两人照片，做下调侃注解。这是美国外交政策中的特殊时刻，美俄一家，你也不分。